Yeah, this is very pretty, these tulips right here, center of the city. I never really showed Amsterdam on my YouTube channel, it's just, uh, well, it's basically my country, my city. Second, third, or whatever, fourth home. But, uh, yeah, because it's my city, it's not that interesting to me, at least. Not to sound arrogant, but... Uh, it is actually interesting. It's just that um, I've seen it too many times, so... I'm not really commenting on it that much. But I need to show something that's the flower market right here. Basically linked to the tulips there. And this flower market right here is on the water on these, well, on the embankment, let's say. It's a floating flower market. It's very, very old. And centuries ago, it would be on actual little boats. And right now, it's these sort of pontons, let's say. I don't know on what days it operates, but, uh, well, this is flower country, essentially. And there's a bike a facility right there where you can just put your bike and, uh, well, there's such a short of space in this uh, city that there's no place to leave your bike, let alone your car. So what I did is just put a boat on this river, on this canal, and that's where you can put your bike. There's underground bike facilities as well, essentially everything just to create space without ruining anything of the old character of the city. Trams all over, it's a very important mode of transport in Amsterdam. And cars are actually not very, very common because it doesn't make sense to drive a car here. It's frustrating, it's annoying, it's slow. See, you have to take into account all of the bikes, all of the pedestrians, the tourists who are not looking around them. Uh, so it's a bit stressful to drive a car, I would say. At least it's not a preferred mode of transport for everyone. It's the 3rd of April, 8 o'clock in the evening. And I don't know why Amsterdam is so quiet right now, because I'm in the middle of the city. There's nearly nobody out and about. But these moments is when the city's magic peeks through. As you can see it right now, the quiet canals, here's some birds, not much going on. And then you kind of sense the history of this place, which is many, many centuries and nothing has changed essentially except that there's cars in the street through right now and everything looks kind of polished but the buildings are all the same it's 300 400 years old easily and who knows what's all under the city the city is built on poles so it is slowly sinking it's the sinking city just like venice in a sense it sinks a little bit each year and uh, there's a lot of problems with the houses already being curved let's say and because of the sinking the very slow sinking there's damage and a lot of repairs need to be done especially to these walls next to the canals so it's uh, the city leads a life on its own and it takes tons millions to maintain all of this this is a boat of the municipality of Amsterdam. It's a, uh, how do I say it? Just a surveillance boat, an electric one. It's kind of cruising about, let's say. Let's see what's going on in the city. Now, of course, a city with so many canals has a lot of life on the water. Just look at it. It's these moments of quiet that you sense the city. It's probably the first moment that I truly sense it right now. See some icons up there. 
we see a scale, a ship, and a sort of barrel. Who knows what that would have contained? But that goes to show that there's been training going on here hundreds of years ago, and that little wooden wooden thing on the top there was used to, let's say, carry things to the top by rope. And they pulled the rope and pulled their products up all the way there and store them, essentially. Right now, it's probably the first time that I truly sense the city. I guess part of that is the spring sensation right now. And you feel it on a whole different level than when it's crowded with hundreds of tourists in front of her feet, let's say. It hits differently when it's quiet. It kind of envelops you, if you see what I mean. And that's exactly the same with Venice. If you go to Venice, go have dinner there and do your sightseeing at night. At 10 o'clock, who knows, even at midnight. That's when you feel the city. Yeah, it does feel different in spring. I spent three months of my life here this year, or last year, I should say, living in Amsterdam, which just flew by very fast. And although I enjoyed it, I didn't feel the city in a sense like I do right now. Perhaps it's cause spring and summer is in the air and you truly feel free. When I was living here these three months, there was a lot of restrictions and uh, I couldn't enjoy the city to the fullest. And now it feels that I can do what I want. And it is actually completely free right now, the way it used to be. Currently as of April 2020. I in particular love the architecture of course and the dark blue and dark red buildings. These painted bricks are just very very stunning to me. So old, yet so elegant and classy, see? Just absolutely incredible place. But we all know that already. Just look how curved that building is right there. Standing for centuries long. All these buildings are curved to the front, so that when you move your furniture by pulling the ropes, your couch wouldn't crash into the glass, let's say. So you build a bit tilting to the front so that nothing damages the facade of your building. So that's an actual, uh, well, calculated error, let's say, the way you see some buildings tilting to the front. You can see it in the facades right here, the difference. And the older buildings have that in particular. So this blue one isn't necessarily very old, the red one is older. And you can see that uh, there are space in between the buildings as well, at least some of them. And there used to be a thing that burglars, essentially thieves, would walk over the roofs of the city and some of them would fell, would fall in between buildings when they cross the roof, let's say. And that's why at some point, uh, at least some or perhaps all spaces had to be filled up spaces in between the buildings like here you see that it's filled up with something well here not because there's a an alleyway in between but uh, yeah um, burglars have died in between these uh, buildings let's say this one's open I can see the light peek through it but uh, it's an interesting thing fun fact this one's filled up with concrete this one as well Whether you feel sorry for such burglars is another thing. But uh, I guess life was pretty rough back in the day here. You had to resort to some measures to survive. See this one? Again, in the same Thai restaurant. Because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Something's good, something's good. You might as well repeat. Try other things from the menu. No. Aardappels laden, nee. Hummus. Nee. Heb je nou serieus een Insta-story van je... Ja. 
Now, one of the reasons I like Bulgaria is obviously the weather with a relatively stable climate. Not that it doesn't rain, but <laughs> look at this here in Amsterdam. Ooh. And listen. Amsterdam is a pretty green city. And here we see swans just strolling across the pavement. They might be a bit territorial because they came walking towards me. Just magnificent animals.